number and we want to hear what you are thankful for. Share on social media using the hashtag 2KTVThanks and you might be featured in our Thanksgiving episode later this month. And get ready for Yao Ming in my team. If you complete the matchup nightmare collection featuring the likes of Anthony Davis and Dirk Nowitzki, you can get a Ruby Yao Ming for your lineup. And in the venue, we have to shout out players who've been in the top 10 for both the Ruffles Four Pointer Challenge and do NBA 3X. Congratulations to Cash Out, Haas, Shine, El Loquito, and the rest of these top players. Keep an eye out on your phone for upcoming venue events. Hey guys, I'm Rachel and welcome to this week's episode of NBA 2K TV. I think we would all agree that Kevin Harlan has one of the most iconic voices in the NBA. For the win. Got it! Oh, you did it! You got it! Well, he's back in 2K18 and he's joined by a few other familiar voices. Let's take a look. Welcome back to, to another year of Good to be with you. NBA 2K. I know it. Every summer, when the playoff schedule for me ends, I always know that I'm going to go do some 2K stuff. And I love doing this game. It's like it would be every play-by-play -play guy's fantasy <laughs> to do what I'm doing. So I feel very lucky to be involved. Well, we are lucky to have you. Thank you. And this year in NBA 2K18, we've had some changes. Every year there seems to be not only different dialogue and different tape to watch and, and, and different elements that have kind of always strung their way through every year, but there, there's a new addition to the game. So whether it's uh, bringing in a, a big name player or in this year's case two. The big ticket is here. Kevin Garnett in the house, KG welcome. And that's gonna be so much fun. I know that NBA fans around the league love hearing your voice <laughs> on the games because you bring an excitement. Westbrook with the steal, goes up, money! Is there anything that you do before games to get yourself ready to go? I try to keep the same routine before the broadcast, before the game, but I do find one helpful thing is to be out there early enough to watch the teams warm up and sometimes individual players warm up before a game. Maybe mentally go through, uh, you know, here's Ray Allen who three hours before a game is out there shooting. I'm shot by Ray Allen in the corner. You know I mean? I, I kind of get my, my frame of reference aligned and, and ready to go. And then I just hope it's a good game. And, and But the bottom line is, I don't know if you could have calls like that if you didn't love the game. And I, I do love the game. Is there any particular city that is your favorite? I do tend to like the East Coast better than the West and for no other reason than I'm more of a Midwest, East Coast type person. I do like the older buildings. I've, I've always, I like that. There are very few of them now in the league. When you do a Boston Celtic game, you see the parquet floor and, and I know that what that represents. It represents this, this, the vaunted history of the great Boston Celtics. And when you see the Lakers come out, you know, at Staples Center uh, and before that in the fabulous forum, when you see the purple and gold of the Lakers, it automatically just brings up visions of Jerry West and Gail Goodrich and Wilt Chamberlain and Kareem and Magic and Worthy and all the great players that have preceded guys like Kobe Bryant and the, and the stars in the making. When you are traveling, say you are going to Los Angeles, what is your day like? You told us that you go to the court early mm -hmm. and you kind of watch warm-ups, but <clears throat> is there anything that you do leading up to that? We have a 10 o'clock production meeting in the morning and that'll last a couple hours. And then I'll go back to my room and I'm, I'm buried in my notes. So when I sit down, I feel like I've got about everything covered, but the thing that you gotta always remember is that if you prepare too much, write too much down, you lose the flow of the game, the flavor of the game because what you're documenting is what is happening now. You're not like a writer who writes in past tense all the time. You're broadcasting as it unfolds. And if there's a great play, if there's a little bit more emotion in my voice, yeah. <laughs> um, bring attention to it. You know, you need to appreciate it. Look at that pass. You know, I mean, write that like that to me, you know, maybe that's a way of, of, of saying, you know, you're not here, but I am, and I just saw something that I think is pretty special after all the thousands of games I've done. You know, that pass was just not ordinary. That was special. And that, that's, that's maybe what the emotion on a broadcast brings. Oh, 
what a pass! Is there any other player in the NBA now who you think would be great on television after well, their I think career? A lot, I think a lot of them would be. I think LeBron would be great at it. A lot of times it's the guys that are at the end of the bench who have listened to a lot of coaching, watched a <laughs> lot of great players, maybe been on some terrific teams, yeah. and they've kind of developed a personality over the years. But you know, really when you think about it, is they've all performed in front of big crowds. They've all been interviewed. Uh, they've all had you know, a chance to, to deal with the media, print and, and, and over the air. They've been involved in social media. They're all kind of going through this process of being prepared for this if they so chose. Well, we as sports fans are grateful to have you. The whole 2K family is grateful to have you for another year. And of course, thank you for coming on 2K TV Great to be again. Great you, Rachel. Thank you. The Road to 99 is coming to an end for one awesome player, G. Seiss. And today we have game designer Dan Indra to tell us how he's pulling it off. Thanks, Rachel. G. Seiss is truly an outstanding player in NBA 2K18's My Career Mode. Not only is G. Seiss the first player in the community to reach 98, but he did it in just six and a half weeks since the game launched. Win or let's go! Let's go! Oh, I get dunk. I get two more attributes. Yo, look at my crowd. Where's the whole pop? I'm a 98 overall, bro. G took a six foot three sharpshooting playmaker all the way to 1600 wins, and that's just on the playground. He also has an effective field goal percentage of 71.6 in those part games. That's better than any NBA player right now and one professional football kicker. And it's not all playground. The crazy part is, when G hits the Pro-Am, he averages over 35 points a game. That's impressive all by itself. And now we are here with G Size, our first 98. Congratulations. Thank you. Did you have a goal at the beginning of the year when 2K18 first came out that you wanted to be the first person to reach 99? Yes, ever since the game came out, I wanted to hit 99 first. And now I'm a percent away from hitting 99. So for our viewers at home, tell us uh, about your my player, about your archetype. I'm a primary playmaker, secondary sharpshooter, and it's very effective because I can dribble, I can pass, and I can shoot. It's an all-around player, and that's what carried me to, to be a good overall. So what has been your strategy like in my career this year? Shoot a lot of threes, play zone defense, and in the park, it will be just to get games in quick and never stop playing. And I've noticed that you like to play a lot of two-on-two. -two. Yes, I'm a since I'm a YouTuber and I have a, like a fan base, I get games back to back, back to back. So that's what makes me wrap up so fast and get my overall higher on two-on-two -two courts. Oh, because people want to play with you, so it's easier for you to yeah. continue playing. Yeah. Do you like to run with other guards or do you like grabbing some bigs? Yeah, big man for sure. I love rebounding slashers, rebounding um, sharpshooters, I believe it's called, you know, for the pick and pop. And rebounding slashes are real good in the paint. That's the type of centers I like. Well, some of our devs have been watching your journey and have said that you might be one of the best in 2K18. How does that feel? It feels great because I always felt like I was the best in every 2K. It just thought I was underrated, but now is that I can actually show people what I can do because I have a great level of IQ and now I'm here. And how do you plan to get to 99? Are you going to stick with the same strategy that you've been using? I'm gonna continue with what I'm doing. I play park and then I play my career sometimes. When my centers aren't online, that's when I hit the, the my career. When my centers are online, that's when I go to the park and sometimes stream it. And since we have you on 2K TV, do you have anyone who's been along the journey with you that you want to give a little shout out to? Yeah, I do. Um, I want to give a shout out to Mind of Res, Annoying TV, Dom the Mini Dom, Aglower, and Zach Timberman. Well, congratulations once again for reaching 98, and thank you for coming on 2K TV. Yeah, thank you for having me. Cool. Can we do a virtual high five? Yeah. There we go. <laughs> This year in my career, your My Player DJ gets to hang with some of the top NBA players. Shane McGee is the actor who plays DJ, and we asked him what it was like to spend his summer with those NBA players. 
I'm a rookie, man. I play with Shammy. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know I, I, what watch, you, you, I watch you play the other night. Yeah, you probably see me drain some threes, you Just know what I'm saying? Bit. You got a little bit of game. What's up, guys? Today, I am here with Shane McGee, the 2K18 My Career My Player. Hey, hey. What's going on? So my career is very different this year than in previous games. There's this whole world yeah. that you'll experience. So what was your first reaction when you heard that the story wasn't necessarily going to be linear? It was really exciting because I was honored to be a part of something new and how much work has gone into it has been a super awesome experience. So I think the fans are really gonna like it. And there's a lot of interesting characters. There's a lot of hilarious characters. Boo Boo. How many times I got to tell you not to bring up ghosts around me? We man. still on that ghost thing, Boo Boo. He works in the hall, he's security. He's a, so funny. Um, Spinelli, the door guy, he's great. Hey Spinelli, I got you some tickets to the next game. You have any family? Do I have family? I have 12 aunts, six cousins, eight sisters, 12 brothers, three nephews, and 14 nieces. Some other characters, real life characters, are the NBA guys that you got to film with. Yes. Some of the yeah. biggest yeah. stars in the league. Yo, Damar. What's up, baby? How you living? What's up, brother? This is the first year that the, the My Player has traveled to to work with the players, so I'm super uh, just I'm honored to, to, to be a part of that. PG-13. Yo, what's up, man? What up, baby? Who are you? I'm DJ. Oh, you DJ. Yeah, man. What was the most memorable moment with one of the NBA guys? When I was working with Kyrie Irving. It's gonna blow up, bro. Think about, nah. all, the, think about all the followers you're gonna get, man. Yeah, I already, I already got 10 million plus. I yeah, think you, I'm good you, on that. You trying to get another 10? Come on. My director told me to to get after him. Like Chris, the way he works is he'll he'll give you a little note to the side, and then he'll tell you to uh, to just play it, and he won't tell the other guy. So the note he gave me was to get after Kyrie. So that was very <laughs> interesting to see the shock on his face. Because in real life, you, you wouldn't just go after an NBA guy. <laughs> no, yeah, in real life, you do not, yeah. So music also plays a big role yep. in the My Career Story this year, and your nickname is DJ. DJ, that's me, yeah. Do you have any musical background? Um, I do, I, I sang in high school and uh, I still sing all the time and I beatbox a lot and I actually got to incorporate beatboxing into the game, which is super awesome. Let me hear it. Hey. Hold on, look. My life been a puzzle, jigsaw. I went from a puppy to a big dog. And what do you want to tell our viewers at home who are maybe just jumping into the game? Yeah. What scene do they want to look out for that might have been your favorite to film? The scene that I have with my best friend, Be Fresh, it's, uh, it's an improv scene. So I, I come in and I see that she's doing improv with people from the, from the team. Fresh Lettuce, they call themselves Fresh Lettuce. It's hilarious. <laughs> Since when do you do improv? Yo, it keeps the intelligence sharp and makes you quick on your feet. You know what I'm saying? Twinkle toes, pop, pop, hey, hey, pop, 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 We'll have to look out for that. Yeah. Well, thank you for joining us on set at 2K TV and being a part of the 2K family. Thank you for having me. High five. High five. <laughs> And while hanging out in the neighborhood, you might have had the chance to make some beats in the JBL studio. So today in studio, we have Mike Howard, our 2K soundtrack manager, to help us break down the JBL beat machine. Thank you guys, thank you for having me. Okay, so once we actually get access to the beat machine, what's next? Yeah, so once you get access to it, you obviously can see here, um, there's a lot of different tools you can use. Um, you have beat patterns, so that's gonna have like your drums and percussion and everything. Um, you're gonna have your bass line. Um, there's gonna be a rhythm and a lead. Um, so all these different tools are gonna be able to help you build a beat. Um, right now, I'm gonna start with the rhythm and lead to get me like in the, in the mood to put um, like a drum pattern on that. So I'm gonna do that here. There's also a, a button you could use uh, to have the melody continuously play. We call that a loop. Um, so I'm gonna do that now. And while that's going, that's gonna help me um, sort of time when the drum pattern can start on. I can now alter um, any one of these um, by turning on the filter. So for instance, I'm gonna do that now with the drums. I'm gonna only allow the um, hi-hat. So 
high filters on right now. And if I wanted to, I can go the opposite direction with the filter, so we're only hearing the bass. So it sort of gives your, your beat more of a character and some life to it, you know? For sure. Where did this idea to actually add a beat machine into 2K, where did that come from? You know, we worked with Damien Lillard this year, and Dame gave us a really like deep insight into music, his love for music, the connection between the NBA and hip hop and everything. And you know, this is definitely something we spoke to him about, about um, integrating a beat machine and some of his own music into the game. Yeah, so now we can play basketball and then go make some music. Exactly. Well, let's make something really fun, just, All right. just to finish um, it out. Okay, let's do something a little different here. So I'm gonna turn the warp up. The warp, essentially what that does is it's changing the pitch and uh, the tempo of the song. I'm gonna cool. turn on the loop here. So you might hear this like an EDM, yeah. like club song, right? Okay. Like, <laughs> you're, you're, you know, dancing to it, doing some cool stuff, but I'm gonna actually switch this up. I'm gonna turn the warp all the way down. So now it kind of has that like R&B sound to it, you know? You can do something interesting here. I can use samples, which you can see on the left and the right side of the screen. Uh, Let's some use the smile there. sample. All right. It uh, kind of sounds yeah, like somebody's on the beat, song. right? <laughs> this is just a really fun tool, I think, for gamers to do something else besides hoop in it um, and, you know, be creative. And make sure that you share those beats with us on social media using the hashtag 2KTVBeats. Well, thank you, Michael, once again for joining us in studio. You and I'm excited to jump into this. Yeah, make some fire. Cool. And now for your top plays of the week. Yo, 2K Hoop fans, it's the 2K MC, and I got your beat for the top plays each week. Now it's time for the top four plays. Up first is Soldier. He dribbles out to the left wing, and check this out. One, two, three. Three posters, one dunk, in their face. Next up, we have Buckley, confusing the D with a pass off the rim to himself for the jam. No one in Pro-Am is defending that. Next up, Shamar, taking control, two ankle breakers, and hitting the game winner. Get those boys some tape. Last up, Psychotic. Snatches the ball, and gets out on the break, throws up the lob for the double poster on his own teammates. You gotta be psychotic to let your teammate do that. Vote now for the top play of the week and submit your best with hashtag 2KTVWOW. This is the 2KMC signing off. That's all for this week, guys. Thanks for watching and make sure that you tune in next week because we will be back with Paul George. I'll see you then. It's all about fishing, Are you nothing competitive else. competitive in fishing? Very. Oh, man. Who catch the most or the biggest? <laughs>